Hiya. Um, I just wanted to say thank you uh, to CBC for welcoming me and my mum uh, for all these months. Um, it's been fantastic and um, you've all been so welcoming, warm um, and um, yeah, I can't thank you enough. So I just want to start my testimony. I could hear my mum saying, Jesus is the only way. Jesus will always be your Lord and Saviour. I wanted to know more, hear more, what does that mean? This is when CBC became a part of my life and where my journey started. Alpha, every Thursday evening, and this is when Christianity became more clearer, and the Bible became not just as a religious book, it was exciting. Mark and Julie made it so comfortable for me to speak about all things Jesus and their warmth, kindness, laughter gave me confidence each week. Just by them saying, our Lord and Saviour will always be there for me and my family. He knows, he's wrapped his arms around me. This has stuck with me and Mark and Julie, Chris, Kay, and the church family will always be a huge part of my journey in faith and I'll always thank them. So today, Sunday the 20th of August, I'm excited to be baptised and share with you all that I love Jesus. I could be cleansed of my sin and be given a new life, an eternal life. Jesus is my Lord and Saviour. I would like to end my testimony with Psalm 168. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken for he is right beside me. As Chris has explained, this is a bit like a funeral because um, Lauren has died to self and has risen now in Christ. Isn't that brilliant? That's a beautiful picture. And I say that because um, the verses I want to give you, Lauren, are from Psalm 23, which is often a funeral psalm, but it shouldn't be. It's a beautiful psalm. Um, and you've told us this morning that the Lord is your shepherd. And you can say with David, the Lord is my shepherd and I have everything I need. And I know when I met with you this week, that was so evident that you totally have put your trust in Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. But following on from your favourite song, I, it had to be this verse, didn't it? Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I just wanted to say, Lauren, it's not just today that God's pursuing you. It's not in the past and the beautiful story we've heard of how God's pursued you and drew, draw, drawn you to himself. He's going to carry on pursuing you with his love and his faithfulness for the rest of your life. Isn't that exciting? So that's your verse that I want to bring to you on this very, very special day. And I have to say, I had the privilege of hearing, we, as several of us had the privilege of hearing Lauren in the first service give her testimony. I was in bits at the end because it's so beautiful. But we have heard how God has pursued you and brought you to himself and how you now follow and love the Lord Jesus. And that's why we're so excited to be able to baptise you now. So Lauren, on the proclamation of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Saviour, it's now our great joy to baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, a big round of applause. 